Hi, I'm Jared from Photo to Canvas, and welcome to the second episode of Fine Art and Photo Printing 101. Today's episode is talking about file types. Now, there are four major file types that I see. PNG, PDF, JPEG, and TIFF. We're going to start with the ones I don't like. PNG. PNG is a file type that can have a transparent background. This is if you're creating a file for a logo or something like that, and you don't want the white background. You never need to export into a PNG for me to print, as there's obviously always going to be a background. If your file's already in PNG, feel free to send it to me and I can print it, but you do not need to export a file into a PNG ever. Second is PDF. PDFs tend to be multi-page document files. This is not something I like to print. Generally, when you're printing PDFs, they're packets for a a lease or an application for something or something like that. Again, if you have a PDF, you are welcome to send it to me and I can print it, but that is not something you should be exporting to with your photos or your artwork. So next we have TIFFs. There's 16-bit TIFFs and there's 8-bit TIFFs. A 16-bit TIFF is basically the holy grail for printing. That is the largest file type that is going to hold the most data for your print. Most people would not notice the difference in a print between a 16-bit and an 8-bit TIFF. But if you are going to convert to 8-bit, make sure you flatten your TIFF first. So if you don't want to affect your original file, duplicate the file in Photoshop, flatten it, then convert it to 8-bit. And unless we're printing absolutely huge or your file has some serious color gradients in it, you're not going to see a difference between the 8-bit and the 16-bit TIFF. But I'm happy to print 16-bit, just please flatten the file first to reduce the file size. And finally, there's JPEG. JPEG is the most popular image format out there. Most phones shoot in JPEG. iPhones now shoot in HEIC, but any software will easily convert that to a JPEG. Now, JPEGs are generally fine to print from. Exporting from a 16-bit TIFF to a JPEG, most people will not see the difference in your prints. The problems with JPEG start to happen when you are continuously exporting it, as each time you export from a JPEG, it's recompressing the file, and you're going to start to have significant data loss. So if you're working in a TIFF, you're welcome to export me a JPEG. And if you're working in a JPEG, you don't really have a choice. There's no reason to go backwards to a TIFF. Now, as far as getting me these files, never text. Texting is fine to show somebody a picture, to look at pictures, but texting always compresses your file and it's gonna degrade the quality. Email is okay if your server will allow the file size. I don't work on PCs, but on a Mac, you need to make sure that you click actual size in the email or your email will compress the image and will shrink it and we will lose quality. Now we can also use Google Drive. That's where I store all of my customers' images. So I'm happy to create a Google Drive folder, send you the link, and then you can just upload your files to there. I don't use Dropbox, I'm not a fan, but if you send me a Dropbox link, I can access your images that way. Now for really big files, my site of choice is wetransfer.com. It's free, you don't need an account. All you need is your email address, their email address, and a file that is two gigabytes or smaller, which 99% of our files will be under two gigabytes. You just enter the emails, upload the file, and your recipient is sent a link where they can then download the file on their end, all for free. So that's it. We have PNG, don't need them. PDF, don't need them. TIFF, 16-bit, which is the best thing we can use. 8-bit's fine too. Just make sure you flatten your image before you convert it to 8-bit. And JPEGs are generally fine as well if you're exporting from a TIFF. Most people will not know the difference. Check back for next week's video, which will be about file resolution. If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thanks and have a great day.